Hello, Petty Peeps, and welcome. It's Kathleen from Cos Creations. Welcome to the No Bra Zone number three, guys, here in Florida. I'm killing time. Got an old friend from Virginia who's actually moved to Cape Coral, which is not far from me. She's coming down with her hubby to hang out. We're going to do some grilling and uh, drink a little wine, but uh, I'm all prepped, so I figured I'd come in here and get into my relaxing zone. Um, using up my leftovers, using up my slop bucket paints, and I uh, can't really tell you what they are. This is my slop bucket paint filled with different golds. It's probably got some TLP ore in it, some deco art, maybe some uh, golden iridescent gold fine, but it's a lovely, lovely color. This right here is a bunch of stuff. Uh, looks like some burnt umber to me. Um, Probably some nickel azo gold, who knows, but uh, they're all roughly the same consistency. This looks pretty much like uh, Payne's Gray, and it's absolutely lovely. This is a bunch of things, probably some gold, some red oxide, maybe even some sachet red. But yeah, yummy colors. Um, I usually use them for my base coat color, but I didn't want to spend a lot of time mixing up paint. I just thought I'd come in here and grab what was ready available to me. Different blues, different turquoises here. That's really pretty, guys. And what else? Right here, oh, this was just, I emptied out. When I get down to the bottom of my paint, I generally turn it upside down. This is a golden fluid. This is the teal. When you think there's nothing left in there, I turn it upside down in a cup and I just let it drain off for a day. And this is what came out. It was only about that much paint, but the pigment is strong, and I added uh, added my pouring medium to it, which is 50% uh, Floetrol, 50% Liquitex pouring medium, a squirt of GAC, and because this is a fluid paint and I needed it the same consistency as these guys, which is a little thicker, I added some Oatra to it. Now this, I know what this is. This is my satin enamel, my Decor Pure White Satin Enamel. And uh, it is the same consistency as these guys. What I'm gonna do is, um, I think it's a Molly technique. Um, my friend Britta Clayton from Britta Clayton Design does this a lot. I'm just gonna stream some colors on stream my satin enamel around and then you uh, swipe the satin enamel over the other colors and then we do some tilting so we'll see how it goes we're just here to play and have some fun guys and i'm glad you're here with me let's get busy Got to know you, got to love 